Welcome back to Australian Immigration Updates. Join our WhatsApp group for the latest immigration news and updates. Link is given in the description. Today, we're focusing on the Australia State Sponsorship for Skilled Migration and Australia Visa Update. So let's get started. If you've been finding it tough to navigate Australia's point system, or you're just looking for that extra boost in your visa application, then this video is made for you. Today, we're diving deep into one of the best pathways for skilled migrants, state sponsorship. This program can dramatically enhance your chances of securing that coveted visa, opening the door for you to live and work in Australia. Whether you're an ACE specialist, healthcare professional, or engineer, state sponsorship might be your golden ticket to starting a new chapter down under. What is Australia's state sponsorship program? Let's start by explaining what state sponsorship actually means. It's a program under the Australian government where individual states and territories nominate skilled migrants. This nomination can significantly boost your visa approval chances and may even speed up your path to permanent residency. There are two key visa subclasses involved here, the subclass 190 state nominated permanent visa and the subclass 491 regional provisional visa. Both of these visas can eventually lead to permanent residency. Why choose Australia state sponsorship? Now, you might be wondering, why opt for state sponsorship when I can apply for an independent skilled visa? Well, there are some compelling reasons. First, state sponsorship gives you additional points in Australia's points-based system. You get an extra five points for a subclass 190 nomination and a whopping 15 points for a subclass 491 nomination. For many applicants, those extra points can be the difference between success and disappointment. Second, some states and regions have more relaxed criteria compared to the National Migration Program. So if you're falling short on points for independent migration, state sponsorship can open new doors for you. Plus, it might be easier to find work in less populated areas, and you'll get the chance to explore parts of Australia that are often overlooked. How to qualify for state sponsorship? So how do you qualify? The first step is to check if your occupation is on the states. Each state has its own list, tailored to the local demand for certain professions. Some states may prioritize healthcare, IT, engineering, or trades like carpentry or mechanics. Once your occupation is confirmed to be in demand, you'll need to meet the basic eligibility requirements, being under 45 years old, having competent English language skills, and meeting the minimum point score in Australia's migration test. You'll also need to submit an expression of interest, EOI, via SkillSelect, Australia's online migration platform. If a state or territory likes what they see in your EOI, they'll invite you to apply for state nomination. Key Steps to Securing Australia's State Sponsorship Here's how you can maximize your chances of securing that all-important state nomination. Research the states. Each Australian state has different needs and visa criteria. Spend some time researching which states align with your profession. For instance, Queensland may need healthcare professionals, while South Australia might be looking for it and engineering talent. Tailor your expression of interest. Make sure your EOI highlights your interest in a specific state. You can indicate whether you're open to multiple states, but targeting one shows strong commitment. Meet state-specific requirements. Beyond the base visa criteria, some states have additional requirements such as work experience, a job offer, or previous studies in the state. Pay attention to these details. Submit supporting documents. Once you receive an invitation, be ready with your paperwork, which may include proof of your skills, work experience, and sometimes financial evidence. Australia's state sponsorship program can fast track your dream of living and working in this beautiful country. That's all for this video. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this content helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any updates about Australian immigration. Thanks for watching.